When Jacob learned that there was grain for sale in Egypt, he said to his sons, Why do you look at one another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is grain for sale in Egypt. Go down and buy grain for us, that we may live and not die. So ten of Jacob's brothers went down to buy grain in Egypt. But Jacob did not send Benjamin, Joseph's brother, with his brothers, for he feared that harm might happen to him. Thus the sons of Israel came to buy among the others who came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. Now Joseph was a governor over the land. He was the one who sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brother came and bowed themselves before him with their faces to the ground. Joseph saw his brothers and recognized them, but he treated them like strangers and spoke roughly to them. Where do you come from? He said. They said, from the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph recognized his brothers, but they did not recognize him. And Joseph remembered the dream that he had dreamed of them and said to them, You are spies. You have come to see the nakedness of the land. They said to him, No, my lord, your servants have come to buy food. We are all sons of one man. We are honest men. Your servants never been spies. He said to them, No, it is the nakedness of the land that you have come to see. And they said, We, your servants, are twelve brothers, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is this day with our father, and one is no more. But Joseph said to them, It is as I said to you, you are spies. By this you shall be tested. By the life of Pharaoh you shall not go from this place unless your youngest brother comes here. Send one of you and let him bring your brother while you remain confined that your words may be tested, whether there is truth in you, or else by the life of Pharaoh surely you are spies. And he put them all together in custody for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to them, Do this and you will live, for I fear God. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers remain confined where you are in custody, and let the rest go and carry grain for the famine of your households, and bring your youngest brother to me, so your words will be verified, and you shall not die. And they did so. Then they said to one another, In truth, we are guilty concerning our brother, in that we saw the distress of his soul when he begged us, and we did not listen. This is why the distress has come upon us. And Reuben answered them, Did I not tell you not to sin against the boy? But you did not listen. So now there comes a reckoning for his blood. They did not know that Joseph understood them, for there was an interpreter between them. Then he turned away from them and wept. <laughs> and he returned to them and spoke to them. And he took Simon from them and bound him before their eye. And Joseph gave orders to fill their bags with grain and to replace every man's money in his sack and give them provisions for their journey. This was done for them. Then they loaded their donkeys with their grain and departed. And as one of them opened his sack to give his donkeys fodder at the lodging place, he saw his money in the mouth of the sack. He said to his brother, My money has been put back. Here it is in the mouth of my sack. At this, their hearts failed them. And they turned trembling to one another, saying, What is this that God has done to us? <laughs> when they came to Jacob, their father, in the land of Canaan, they told him all that had happened, saying, The man the Lord of the land spoke roughly to us and, and took us to be spies of the land. But we said to him, We are honest men. We've never been spies. Uh, uh, we, we are twelve brothers, sons of our father, one is no more, and the youngest is to stay with our father in the land of Canaan. Then the man of the Lord of the land said to us, By this I shall know that you are honest men. Leave one of your brothers with me, and take the grain for the famine of your household. And go your way. Bring your youngest brother to me, and I shall know that you are not spies, but honest men. And I will deliver your brother to you, and you shall trade in the land. As they emptied their sacks, behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. And when they and their father saw their bundles of money, they were afraid. And Jacob their father said to them, You have bereaved me of my children. Joseph is no more, and Simeon is no more. And now you would take Benjamin? All of this has come against me. Then Reuben said to his father, Kill my two sons if I do not bring them back to you. Put them in my hands, and I will bring them back to you. But he said, my son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he's the only one left. 
If harm should happen to him on the journey that you are about to make, you would bring down my gray hairs with Saul to show. All right, we're going to pause there for, we're not going to pause. Now we're going to sing a little song. You, you always say a little song. Uh, now we're going to sing a song. It's a regular song. Yeah, yeah, we're going to sing a song, okay? Yes, it's called, what's the original? Well, the, the original is called The House of the Rising Sun, 1964, by the animals. Whoa, that's as old as I am. <laughs> But except for it's about Joseph and his brothers. Going to Egypt, right? Yes, going to Egypt. Well, Joseph's brothers were going to Egypt to meet Joseph there. So it's not Joseph and his brothers going to Egypt. It's Joseph's brothers going to Egypt. Not Joseph going to Egypt with his brothers. Yeah, and that's it. Hope you enjoy it. Goodbye. Well, see you, see you later. We're not even going anywhere. Stop saying goodbye. Just enjoy it. There is some rain in Egypt Go by some soul we live So I'll see of you go to Egypt and Ben will not be one Now Joseph was a governor He ruled over the land His brother They didn't notice him He's bold to the roughly But he knew they were as hell He said But they wanted to buy Your brother, bring your brother. But I know you are not spies. Send one of you to bring that boy, and then I'll sell you some. Oh, no.
many a poor boy and been will not be one.